Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of After Image. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here, and we got a bunch of side quests and stuff done, and I think I'm going to be doing some more of that today, because we still have a few things left to do. Um, so, yep, let's start working on that, shall we? Okay, so, yeah, Doro, I already made all of his stuff, I just didn't talk to him again to actually finish the quest. Which is, it sucks, but hey, we did it now. Um, so I think we're good. I think we got all of your stuff. Yep. All right. So Doro's quest, done. Good. Um, because there wasn't a lot of information about you online, and I think that's because you just don't move. So um, we have one more Shenlong glyph to find, I believe. We are near the oasis over here. I'm kind of like, maybe I should go check this out really quickly. Um, I also went and bought a ton of resting potions, as you can see, and I sold all of my scattered prism bones. So, I guess we should just might, might as well just talk here. Um, where I gotta go is just like right over here. So, I don't know if I have everything that I need to do this stuff with the, uh, with the turtle yet, but we'll, we'll see. I'll check. Hey, what's up? Human. Do you believe in light? Uh, yeah. All I see is the bright light on your back. It is the halo of Genesis. Lit when God created Engarden to illuminate the beings. It is omnipresent and allows you to see the world before you right now is the sight of light which can only be perceived by the soul that knows its essence see the world if you believe take a ray with you it shall light your way and guide you in the first sea. Interesting. Hi. Halo of Genesis. A wisp of primeval light illuminating the way forward when you are lost. What? Illuminating the way forward when I'm lost. Is this like... That can't be. I was like, is this... Is this gonna give me, like, a trail to tell me where to go? But that seems really weird. I don't think that's what it is. Let's take off the... Um... Treasure scope. Um... Now, where is this thing? Oh, wait, it's th it's here. Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna be down here. Oh, okay. Whisper Primeval Light, illuminating the way forward when you are lost. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well that's been taken care of. That was the entire quest, right? It was. We're down to three quests. Rebirth, Words of Shenlong, and Memories. Hmm. Well, um, I do believe there's one quest I haven't actually gotten, so... Aha! Found ya! Cool. So, Stanley has a quest for us. It's been a long time, miser. And you smell of mold, egghead. Still a bird, I see. So, you can't yet leave completely. Well, even if the seals are lifted, it will take some time for me to recover. Now... When was the last time we saw each other like this? Hmm. 68 years, 7 months, and 9 days. You're not gonna count minutes and seconds and hours, too? Nothing has faded for you. It seems you've kept sharp all these years. The antique shop has been open all these years for one reason or another. <laughs> I almost lost my life stocking a couple times. Unlike some homebody. Alright, take this with you. At least let me know you're not dead while you're reading. I've never asked you to find those for me. Just your busybody nature. 
Fine. I can't leave just yet, but at least I can make a clone like this and accompany you if you must run about again. Because, well, it's not like I can't go with you. Wow. If we can't believe people like you two are on such good terms. But shut it. On good terms with him? Renee! They're yelling at me! I will murder you. The energy consumption of the clone can be quite demanding while following you around. Don't be mean to Ifri. Uh, stop grumbling. Just let me consider where to go next. I think we should leave them be, Ifri. The energy cons uh, Hmm. Okay. So... Does... We don't even have a quest. Huh. Interesting. It's, suppo it's supposed to give us a quest, huh? Maybe if I go over here and rest and then come back? God, it's so weird. Like, how would you need to come back here specifically and check? Hmm. Okay. Oh. But, hi. So this, this is where we're supposed to come next. Apparently we were supposed to come back to the shop, see Stanley wasn't here. And you can talk to this. In here I was thinking he asked someone to look after the store. All he's left is a stick. Three. There's no one around. Surely Stanley won't notice if something isn't in its usual spot. Dear customer, you need to pay to have any of the goods here. Besides, I'm not a stick. You can call me Roxy. Oh, the place is haunted! Calm yourself, Ifri. I think it is Stanley's cane. Composed young lady. Welcome back to Stanley's Antique Shop. If there's anything I can do for you, please, don't hesitate to call for me. A talking stick? Uh, what a miscalculation by Ifri. Purchase? Do you have anything new now? You do not. Okay, so I think that's the next step of the quest. Man, these get really crazy and convoluted. There was, like, no real indication to come back here in particular. I mean, there was no real indication to go to the holy grounds and run left either, but... Aha! Here you are. Oh, such a magnificent battlefield. A place like this must have much hidden history. How are you supposed to know to come over here? Uh, hi. They didn't really give me into any indication in the previous talk that they had. They just said, oh man, I need to go somewhere, and then the staff didn't really give me too much. You're still interested in those serious things. Come, we must make haste. My clue's energy is limited. Oh, it's Stanley! And with Levine too! It's rare to see you outdoors! <laughs> If it were not for this obdurate miser, I'd never have sent you to such a careless place to scavenge. Can you shut up, please? The things here are of great value, and you mockingly call it scavenging. It seems that you've read all of those dusty tomes throughout. Also, how's your staff here in your portrait? It's back at the shop. And glad to see you, my dear customers. I've had a bountiful harvest today. You can look forward to new goods. That's nitpicky, though. Just mentioning that I've almost used up my power slaying that monster that crossed our path. Anything stronger, then I shan't be able to keep it. Well, well, well. Who would have thought the mighty who would admit to having trouble? In that case, let's stop here and wait until you're completely out of Grand Archive. Okay, listen here, you. You stupid bastard. Die! You were very annoying. Hey, you two. So, this is where the sun rises. It does have an unusual aura. I've heard whispers that when a golden crow is about to burn out its life, it will turn into a stone statue and fall into eternal sleep in the lunar graveyard, while another newborn golden crow will take off in the solar birthplace. Look at that. A piece of feather. Even if burned out, it is still beautiful. Beautiful as they are, their lives are too short. Oh dear customer, so you know the story of the Golden Crows as well. I didn't expect to see you two in such a perilous place. <laughs> Don't underestimate this miser's obsession with overturning the world to find new wares. That's not Stanley. <laughs> Alright. 
Hello, you stupid idiot. God, you're dragging me all over the place. Luxuriant and full of vigor. There's also an aura of primeval powers. Was it the power of God that made these mountains and forests? God, I, I should have killed the stupid enemy first. At least this one's not as loud as the last one. Yeah, the great power of that primeval glyph. Primeval glyphs, a mysterious and beautiful language. A pity I am far from able to use it. Sometimes I envy the magical talent and power that Egghead has taken away. Die. Hey, Stanley, you idiot. Okay, are there any enemies chasing me? No. Alright, this is in this location in the Forest Forgone. An endless desert reigned by deathly silence. Who would believe? It used to be the most vibrant part of Engarden. Ifri told me there was no desert in Engarden in the past. Well, that is true. The evils committed by man here have completely drained the world. Although I am fascinated by the antiques throughout Engarden and the information they contain, sometimes I prefer to let them live in the present, rather than remain buried in the ruins. But aren't you always looking for good stuff to get you profit? Dear customer, my business is only to support the store and my travel expenses. As a merchant, I do like to see more valuable antiques, yet, as a resident of Engarden, I'd more like to see and live in a better world. All right. All right, Stanley. Sell me some good shit. You better have picked up some good stuff. Dear customers, welcome again to the shop. I wonder if you are satisfied with the new goods. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Heart of the Sun, Bloody Nobility. Okay, yeah, these are quite nice things. Instinct. When equipped, successfully, successful hits increase damage dealt, but also the damage taken. When praying, consume the power of multiple prime primeval glyphs and increase the effect of healing. That's cool. Hermit's Cape. Normal attack speed, normal attack damage, physical resistance, move speed. Makes my normal attacks faster. Shade, when equipped, periodically increases skill damage if you do not use weapon skills for a certain amount of time. And Miner's Treasure. Okay, interesting. These are cool things. Um, I think mostly what I want are the talent essences here. Um, I do have some stuff to sell to you. I have uh, quite a few things, as you can see. And these are not cooking ingredients, so these I can sell. All right, I sold all of the stuff I've collected across the entire game and managed to get enough for more of these. Uh, and I have 4,000 left to my name, so... Equip the weapon skill Iron Bastion is strengthened. Great sword once wielded by an extraordinary female knight with elegant flower patterns carved on the blade. In the past, her favorite move was to take one blow from her enemy to accumulate her strength before countering back. Since there is a male among the top master mages, then it is no surprise that the strongest knight is a female. Perhaps that could be the very possibility of the beings. Um... Heart of Sun... I mean, currently I'm using a scythe as my other weapon, but that scythe doesn't seem particularly good. And the daggers I can get from Su are better than this. So let's buy Lifelock. And that is my final after image, Omniti. So that is, uh... The thing for getting all of the after images, I believe. That seems like a very powerful, um, a very, very powerful thing. Being able to consume multiple at a time to just increase the healing. So let's mess around with my after images really quickly. So change the effective healing spells into that I want off. I didn't realize I'd put that on. Whoops. I put that on in incorrectly last time. Yeah, Pious Blessing. Uh, okay, so I put on Faithful Blessing last time instead of Pious Blessing. I was wondering in that previous boss fight why that was being weird and not working. How I wanted it to. Um, this Unbreakable Shield seems kind of poopy. I'm just going to take the Life Lock instead. So, there we go. Those all seem very, very good. And I could take off the Treasure Scope you know, when needed. 
All right. Well. So, now we are done with that quest as well, and we are very quickly running out of things to do. So, let me look at what else we can grab. Aha! So, this is the final Shinlong Glyph. It was hiding right here. Um, I probably walked right past it multiple times. Actually, I know I walked past it multiple times. So, uh, there we go. We have all of the Shenlong Glyphs now, so we can go and turn those in to Su. Aha! There's a hidden treasure under here. This, uh, thing is actually quite useful for, uh, helping me find, uh, hidden treasures and stuff. So that's the treasure I was missing here. Uh, one of the ones I was missing in the Halcyon Veins. I'm missing one more. So, here you are, Suh. What's up? Excuse me. Okay, so I need two more Suh coins to get those. Here you go. <laughs> now my task is done as well. Yes, this key is also for you. It is something quite nice. Yeah, yeah. I can tell from the looks of it that the gold key is valuable. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. Sit properly and listen. That was something God bestowed upon me. Carry it with you on your trip through in Garden. It might be of assistance. Now go. I have my own tasks that require my attention. <laughs> now my duty is fulfilled as well. The key of Sa. What does that do? Key gifted uh, by the Grand Fairy of Sleeping. No clue about the door it o about the door it opens will lead to. Huh. Interesting. Very very interesting. Okay. Okay. So um, I finished looking at like the list thing that I needed to look at. Um, I'm not sure what this key of Sa goes to. I'll look at that in a minute. Um, we are missing two of these. Um, one of them is right above me, and another one I get when I finish another ending. So, uh, we are going to be having all of those. Um, we already have all of these. We just finished that quest. Um, I have all of the stream crystals. There are only four of them. I have all of the memory shards already. There are only three of them. Um, I have all of the secret arts. There are 12 of them. So... I believe we're good there. Um, so apparently this thing is up here. It's set above the tree. Here. So... I'm assuming that just means... Kind of up in this general area. There it is. Probably right there. Yeah, probably right here. So... Hello? Yep, there it is. Belief, the order of universal cycle. So there we go. That's another one of those cleared. And 13 out of 13. Oh, that's nice. Oh, when you get all the items in an area, it completely fills in the map for you. Ooh, that's... That's nice. That's nice. How crazy would it be if I went and got every single item to to have all green on all the maps? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be wild and crazy? <laughs> Alright, well, um, let's continue down. Because, yeah, we are missing one more primeval glyph, which I believe I get from doing this over here. So, how you doing? Uh, try to put in a memory shard, investigate the ancient device a moment. Is investigate the ancient device what I did before? I think it was. Try to put in a memory shard. This place is full of the aura of primeval life. We must be at the first cradle. Beware of that stranger from before. She could appear at any moment. Yeah. I won't let her get to us this time. Bree, are you ready? Once the ritual begins, it cannot be halted. Oh, are there three different endings? One for putting in one, one for putting in two, and one for putting in three? I wonder. I'm guessing these are three different endings. I'm gonna put in one first. Huh? I feel the aura of another ritual. Chosen vessel. I've been awaiting you. I am the guider. 
and I will guide you onto the true path. <laughs> it's you again. Very well. You are indeed the perfect choice, as she said. Your deeds shall never fade. The appointed moment draws near. You shall and you must become complete. Okay, are we fighting? We're just fighting you again. I don't know if this is going to be like an alternate ending or something. Hey, this might be the one I did before. I'm having a hard time remembering. Alright, I defeated you again, but I'm not sure if this is a new ending or not. As an incomplete vessel, you were quite impressive. Um, Before you just like kind of killed me, right? But... come to the same trick twice okay so this is a new ending cool 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 i don't think the boss fight changed there at all i, I think it was the same boss fight so hmm, the same trick you said <laughs> oh Yay! your resonance barrier did block the curse but it was not enough to shield you from my sword oh man you're cool oh you're cool red renee is cool i like red renee renee I wouldn't call that a glorious victory. Shut up and commence already. My calling is fulfilled. Time for you to embrace your novel fate. Okay. Was that another... That is another ending. Okay, interesting. cradle okay i'm just gonna go ahead and say it oh no she's hot okay there we go i said it i said it <laughs> i like red renee <laughs> all right well there we go there's another ending so i imagine there's another one for two two possibly protects me a little bit better and then three is like fully protects me and i'll be like totally good i'm guessing i'm guessing let's see Let's see what, what changes when I do two. Try to put in a memory shard. This is full of the or Beware of that I won't let her grieve. Are you ready? Two. It was a little bit closer than I would have liked that time, but we're fine. Has an incomplete bug. Uh-huh. Don't bother. We hmm. So is it is it still just yeah, okay, it's the same hey, ending. Your resonance barrier did block the curse. But yeah. shut up my all right, so it's the same ending if I'm not complete. There's a not complete ending and there's a complete ending. Gotcha. Okay, so I just got to fight the boss one more time. Uh, I also forgot to spend my talent points. So I guess we can do that really quickly. Um, so how many endings is that at this point? I'll have to look at a full list of uh, all of the endings to uh, to make sure I get them all. Um, so we'll see. I think there's 10, so we'll, we'll check, we'll check the ending guide in a second. Obviously, I don't want, I want to be spoiled on as, as few things as I possibly can be. Um, but let's spend the, the rest of our talent points as well. So, let's go ahead and do that. I guess we're finishing the game today. I mean, I've got the time to sit here and put into this, so, um, yeah. All right, um, uh, talents. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So I am mostly using sword attack here. Um, I did up my sword attack quite a fair bit. When in midair, I mean, I have a ton of points. Wave the sword upwards and release a move like a full moon. When in midair, dive down rapidly. Weapon skill damage. Shoot projectiles when using normal attack of the sword in midair or performing the skill. Ooh. Thank you. Um, weapon skill mastery, sure. Um, I think like I've gotten most of the skills around here that I care about. Yeah, like there's a few baby ones over here that I don't particularly like that much. But we finished off most of the things, in all honesty. 
There we go. Um, I wouldn't mind having that cool, uh, that cool set of daggers from us, uh, but that requires finding all the coins, which, who knows where those are. We're missing quite a few things, so, try to put in a memory shard, and we're gonna put in three. Now, how is this going to change things? Ooh, also was way closer than I would have liked. I had no heals left, but I didn't have health potions that time. You were quite impressive. Now. Renee, prove that you're the superior. Renee, what are you talking about? Her, that hollow shell that was missing even her memories. What kind of worth do you expect it to possess? Well, you did do me a favor by bringing these shards all to me here, though. The stage is set. She looks forward to your performance. I don't need your reminders about this. We need some more time for the ritual. Be careful, Renee. Okay. Well, there we go. New boss fight. I gotta fight myself. You do have to actually have all of my skills. Okay. Um, so if you're wondering what that thing I have does, that's what it is. The thing that makes uh, my sword strikes hit the air. Um, we're a little bit boned here, I think, because it didn't refresh all of my heals. So, we're gonna need to get some health potions, I think, and I'm gonna need to be a little bit safer on that, uh, on that boss fight. It also seems like you steal my HP when you hit me? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on things a little bit there. <clears throat> Ideally, we want to get through that, uh, that fight without taking damage at all. Um, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, the question now becomes, what do I want to run? The scythe, I'm not really using. So I'm kind of like, what do I want to use instead? Um. Hmm. Because, yeah, this seems like much more of a real fight. This fight seems very, very real. Um, hmm. Let's see, that saves me. The healing efficiency might be good to have. Horn Beast Claw. I've got all the best stuff I can equip here. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, ma mainly what I need to do is go buy, go buy potions. Renee and Ifri, we meet again! Aye aye, what kind of dish do you have this time? Uh, this is new. Everything! My big brothers and sisters have all returned from their trips and have brought nasty oh. greatest joy was to offer his customers all sorts of delicacies to try. How can giving away what you worked so hard to make bring such happiness? Humans are indeed quite interesting. Hey, you've become quite philosophical all of a sudden. Ifri is vexed. The taste of happiness. Ah, right, Ifri. I've come up with a new course. Would you like to try it? Of course! Psychic powder, golden fruit, and... Sigh, two more ingredients I don't have. Will Ifri be kind enough to find them for me? Why did you say sigh? Hmm. Ifri will do anything for delicacies. Come, come! Great! Just bring me a four-leaf clover. People say it's a sign of good fortune and can bring you happiness. Plus, a special kind of egg called the rainbow egg. I need them. What? No! A four-leaf clover is nothing but a fairy tale hoax! How can you be tricked so easily? Ifri, please shut up. We have them in our inventory. Ifri, Alice made us so many dishes. Let's help her out. Hm. I'm only doing this as a favor to Ree. Thanks! Since rainbow eggs and clovers are so lucky, my feast of joy will assuredly be a success. <laughs> I'm really getting excited. Alright, happiness. There we go. Hurry, hurry! Are you ready? Here it is. I'm ready. Hurry, hurry! Alright. This is this is the good thing that we can get. Hermit's lucky omelet. Um, it is said that the hermit must have this dish before setting out for adventure every time. Two kinds of rare materials are processed in seemingly normal ways, yet their unique powers are fully activated. 
Sometimes the hermit couldn't find clovers or rainbow eggs, so he'd use common materials as replacements. According to him, as long as you believe that this dish will bring you good fortune, then it doesn't matter what kind of material you use. Um, so it just increases my drop rate after first time consumption. I do need to sell some things though. Um, let's see here. So we do have two higher health potions um, and stuff like that. Uh, what other stuff do I have to sell? Um, I can sell some of these things. There you go. That gets me to a thousand. I'm ready. All right. So I would like some of the food that increases my stats, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough money to get it. Oh, and we got a uh, new outfit for that. Probably for getting all of the food. Just various types of resistances. Yeah. All right. Well, we have all the food now. Um. Let's uh. Let's eat it. Uh, it's over here. What am I doing? There we go. Drop rate up, and it gives me two more talent points. I I guess that's useful. Uh. I do taste something quite intriguing. It's nothing like before. Do you feel joy now? After such a wondrous meal, of course Ifri is happy. Isn't that right, Ifri? Mm, me too. That's nice. Then I feel joy now alongside you. After the raising. People barely survived the harsh environment left them. Some chose to rob others. Some chose to only protect themselves. Others, like my brothers and sisters, they are still willing to share, happily doing whatever they desire. By my experience, people like my brothers and sisters have a better chance at surviving. It seems like the mortal meaning of life isn't merely surviving, but also requires a dash of happiness. Despite being quite difficult to quantify, the concept of happiness does serve a vital purpose. What are you talking about? That's strange. Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm always like this when I'm immersed in my thoughts. Just ignore it. Would you like some more? Ifri is so full he's ready to explode. Mayhaps next time. The data acquired this time is quite complex. Further calculations and analyses are required later on my return. Weird. Oh, you. <laughs> you got really, like, philosophical and smart all of a sudden. That's a, that's a little bit weird and intimidating. Okay, well, uh, I think we want to go over here. And grab some health potions from you. I don't think you sell like the stronger ones, which I would like. Hello again, rescue. Um, I don't think you sell regular health potions and refined health potions. Um, unfortunately, I also just don't have the money to actually afford any of these things. Um, you don't buy weapons. I already sold all of that stuff and all of that stuff. I mean, I guess I have these ingredients. I don't really need them anymore, I suppose. I'll, I'll sell what I have a lot of excess of. Um, just to just to get my cash up a little bit. Uh, because I need money to buy potions or this just isn't gonna work. I could also use this to buy some food, but... I don't think there's enough here to really make it, uh worthwhile all right there we go that's at least Hello enough again. to buy some of the little baby healing potions here um there we go all right i guess i guess i'm just gonna have to try with that um we have two of the graders a lot of the smaller ones um i'm basically gonna practice this fight until i can do the first phase with <clears throat> Without, I would ideally without trying without healing at all. That that would that would be the best. But I don't know if I can actually pull that off. Um, I'm gonna play a lot safer. Before I was kind of just playing for speed, but we don't need to do that now. Um. So, what all do we want on life lock is good. Space block is good. Mystic coin is good. Blessed guardian is good. So. What would I rather have? 
Uh, not to be instantly killed, I just point to full balance, the effect ends instant. Okay. Casting spells when magic is down, Eye of Truth, Pyro Cape. Continuously deals pyro attack to nearby enemies. Really juice the damage when the attack comes from behind. Hmm. Yeah. Surviving slip slowly restores the when taking damage. The effect is interrupted by taking damage again. Uh, I think I want that. I think I want surviving slip. Anything that gives me more healing um, feels good here. But yeah, this this attack that hits multiple times as long as I'm in the air is quite good. I like it a fair bit. So let's see if we can beat this boss a little bit better this time. Yeah. Um, also, we do have some talent points to spend. Okay, I have this stupid health regen thing that I, I... That's on kill. That's basic... Basically useless. Hmm. There's just not a lot of things for me to get at this point. I mean, I guess I'll grab that. There. Alright, let's give this another shot. God damn, you're so annoying. Okay, I have a few potions left and I didn't use any of my big heals. You were quite impressive. No, I did use one big heal, apparently. Um, I died the first time I reattempted this because uh, I was trying to be cheeky and save as many heals as I possibly can and let the slip thing kind of heal me, but that did not go well. Now, Renee. Renee? Uh, so I think you heal, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I think you heal when you hit me. Ow, that's so big! Oh my god. Yeah, you heal when you hit me, for sure. That's so big! No, you don't. Oh my god, it's so hard to get over. Jesus Christ. That is awful. Uh-huh. Don't know if I can keep up with your healing. That attack is the worst one. That's the one that's a problem. That's just so hard to, like, dodge. Okay, I think using this, the sword is actually a bad idea. I need to use the scythe. Scythe is much, much safer. God, that attack sucks. Yeah, you move too fast for me to do anything with the sword. This is a... This is a scythe battle. God, that attack blows! I hate it so much! I think dashing through it? Yeah, dashing through it's definitely the best call. If I have my invincible dash, that is. Ow. It's a big crit. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Those are my very, very important heals that I don't have a lot of.
God, it sucks that that moves forward now, too. That is so rude! Oh my god, and all of my attacks suck in comparison! No! I'm gonna die! All of my attacks are so bad in comparison to yours. Fuck, you are super better than me! Your attacks are so rude! It, the shitty part is when I die, I don't get my health potions back. Like, I just lose those. I just lose them, and I have to go grind up dues to get some more. Ah, that fucking sucks. If only when I died it was like a proper reset, but no, like, all of my health potions are gone, and I have to go buy more now. That sucks. I think I can do it. I would have had it there, but you started getting extra bullshit towards the end. Because you're like, well, I'm half health, so I'm going to start having even stronger attacks. All right, so we're going to give this another shot. Um, I had to go get enough money to buy more potions, uh, so I had to sell a bunch of stuff. Um, I went to go to the character that takes us on the boat to the Raging Veins because I remembered he sold potions. He unfortunately doesn't sell health potions. Um, but I did get this Horn Beast Fang as a drop, which is better than what I was wearing before. Uh, so that is cool. So we got that. Um, and I'm currently wearing that now, so I got the full Horn Beast set. Um, this I can enhance one more time to make it even stronger, which I am going to do. Um, I have the Wand of Owl on because it has 5% extra healing efficiency. I have this on because it gives me more attack. This on because it gives me more attack. Um, this on because it gives me more defense, and this on because it gives me more defense. And also... Because I want to win, damn it. Uh, I unfortunately don't know a place where we can buy higher healing potions, higher health potions. Um, so we might not be able to have those. Uh, I'm not sure. But I bought Braised Pork, which increases my max HP, uh, or increases my defense by 12. Um, this increases my, or decreases my damage received by 5. And this increases my HP regen by 4. Um, and I think that's all of the food that I got. Um, unfortunately the food is quite expensive, and so are these health potions. Like I said, really wish, um, it didn't actually consume my health potions when I lose the fight, so I wouldn't have to go grind for more, but, uh, them's the wraps. Uh, I hopped into that fight realizing I forgot to change around my after images, so I just used a resting potion to get out of the fight. Um, I should mention I got some of the dues I needed by doing a little grinding thing I saw online, where you put on the thing where you get dues when you hit it, when you crit an enemy, so I put that on. Um, now the question is, what, do, what else do I want to run? Um... I kind of just want something that increases my damage a pretty good amount. Increases both attack and defense during the effect of this and turns it into a heal over time. Um, hmm. Consume the power of multiple Pineal Glyphs and increases the effect of healing. That's pretty good. It does use them up very quickly, though. Slightly increases the invincible time after taking damage. Um... Hmm. Let's, let's get rid of Bless Guardian. And let's try putting on Pyro Cape? I think let's try putting on Pyro Cape. Continuously deals attack damage to nearby enemies, maybe? Or the Toxic Cloud. Let's go for the Toxic Cloud. I, I take a bunch of hits in these fights. So that's probably uh, for the best. So let's uh, get back into this fight. Okay, there we go. I managed to win. I only had to use one health potion. So let's see if we can beat this Renee. Um, I'm definitely going to be using the, the Scythe mostly. It does very, very big crit damage. Which can be quite nice. Um, this first phase isn't that bad. It's honestly just the second phase. I say as I take damage during this phase. I didn't even mean to do that input. 
But that's this does big, big crit damage, which uh, I really, really like. So hopefully we can pull it off with this. No. Got to stay away from that. That's the danger attack. It's when you start doing it where it extends that it becomes a massive, massive issue. Because... The Toxic Cloud helps with your healing a little. Of course, doesn't completely solve the problem, but... That second phase is just so problematic. And that shit, too. It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't heal. It's specifically the fact that you heal that is a massive problem. I forgot I don't have my, my ranged attack with my staff. Ow. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh my god, you have so many ranged attacks! It's such a pain! You also seem to have, like, pretty ridiculous defense. Okay, now you're- now you're in the more difficult phase. Great. What is this attack? Ow! You just get a free hit? That's some horse shit! God, as if this boss wasn't crazy enough! You get free hits too? Oh my god, my infuriating range with this stupid scythe! I had to heal. Stop moving! God! Just stay still! God! You stupid bastards! <laughs> oh my god, my, my, my scythe kept like barely hitting and everything, I didn't want to have to grind again. Oh, You stupid idiot! Die, you red bastard! I take it back. Red Renee is not hot. <sighs> uh oh, my game's not responding? Okay. Oh, I had to click. You were not completely spoiled by Eros, it seems. Shut up! You get so much free life steal! You idiot. I have to grind for my potions. No use. You are nothing more than a mere imposter, after all. Now is the appointed moment, and you shall be complete. Now, I can finally become whole. Where am I? Uh... Renee, you are awake! Please don't tell me there's another fight. You were in her soul field. She's absorbed all the shards we've used for the barrier. That's right, and you are next in line. 
I have no heals left, video game. Can you please calm the fuck down? Absorbing a living soul is always more fun. Just like that other one that's always skulking around. You. How dare you! Why, it's me. You who consider a sneaker and scum. Thank you, other Renee. Damn, I knew I rushed it back then. Don't you dare stand in my way! Please stand in her stupid way. Wasn't it enough for you to absorb me? What kind of power do you want? How many innocent souls are you going to sacrifice? I am you, just as she is. Why do you have to hurt your other selves? Why can't we join hands and face the world together? Honestly, I'm down for some kumbaya after that previous fight. Together? That's for you to say. Where were you when I was weak and helpless? Our gift was never separated. If we train and train hard, we could possess the fortitude to protect ourselves. Train hard. <laughs> You've enjoyed a life of peace, so how could you understand what it feels like to live terrified as I do? Why don't you go question that lunatic outside and see how much time she's willing to grant you? Gift, you said? In a world like this, this so-called gift was more of a curse to me. Not even death could free me from such terror. You imposters will never come to understand any of this. Imposters? Back when we were one, that original Renee could never be like you. You are not but a monster driven by endless desire. Should anyone here be called an imposter? Tis you! Damn right. Shut up. I am not an imposter! Hey, little one, take this chance and resonate our souls. With you? Is this gonna be a downhill jog battle where I'm like super stupid powerful and invincible? Don't forget that I'm also a shard that could construct a barrier again. Make haste. My time is short. Find harmony in each other's presence. Done! <sighs> Why draw this out? Sooner or later, both of you will return to me. What's the point of wasting the last bit of your soul on protecting her? I wish to help us all. I wish to help you as well. May you share with me all the power you possess. I will leave with you. And now, leave all your fear and pain behind. At least, I have the choice to keep the Renee whom I wish to become. Okay. Oh no, am I gonna have to fight that boss fight again for another ending? Please no. No, that seems to be good. Oh my god, screw you in particular. The essential. Okay. If only I had a companion like him from the start as well. Would the story be any different? I understand you're salty because you got dealt a bad hand, but you annoyed me, so screw you. I dislike you. You were a pain in the ass to beat. It only took me like four, five attempts, but Still. Ugh. New Game Plus unlocked? Uh, New Game Plus. I'm usually not super into doing New Game Pluses. Let's- let's see what's going on here. I'll check and see how many endings are left. That unlocks New Game Plus. So, Outfit 0001. What, what does- what does that give me? Critical damage plus 3%. Yep. Certain paranoid red-haired girl. Now the her insulin behavior is gone, perhaps you should try it on. No! I refuse. Oh, that was hard. Alright, let me check to see if we got everything. Okay, so, um, I've looked at some things. Um, I can get one more ending... ...on this... ...on this, right now. Um... So, that ending is an Easter egg ending that I need all of the- all of the words of Shenlong to get. Um, you have to do some- some weird stuff over here. So I think we're gonna save that for next time. Um, but what I did want to point out 
is I mentioned earlier that um, I'm not usually one to do New Game Pluses because uh, I, I usually loathe having to do like a New Game Plus just to get the um, uh, the, the like true ending or something like that. But um, this game, it's, it's a little bit weird because this isn't actually a New Game Plus. I was wondering if that's what it was going to be. Um, as you can see, it looks totally different from my regular file. It's not a New Game Plus. It's a side story. A whole other campaign. It's not super long as far as I understand, but it's so weird that they call it New Game Plus when it's totally not. It's basically like alternate story, alternate path, something like that. So we will be doing that. I wasn't gonna do it if it was just New Game Plus to get like, you know, an ending, but if it's like a totally different thing, I guess we can do it. So we'll pick up with that and I'll get that other Shenlong ending next time, but this recording has been going on for two hours and I need to stop. So <laughs> hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.